one in three women and one in five men aged 50 or over suffer from osteoporosis, which can lead to bone fractures. The disease makes bones weak and brittle. And the International Osteoporosis Foundation says that 9 million fractures occur annually, putting a heavy burden not only on patients, but also their families. Japanese researchers are trying to determine the mechanism behind osteoporosis at a cellular level to find a new treatment. This image shows a fracture in the spine of an osteoporosis patient. One of the bones was crushed under the patient's weight. Osteoporosis is often called a silent disease because it progresses without symptoms until one day a sneeze or cough can result in a bone fracture. Takayuki Hosoi has spent many years treating osteoporosis. So, Dr. So, how do you actually diagnose osteoporosis? Great. Osoi measures bone density with a special device using X-rays. Erica is in her 50s. This is said to be the age at which bone density starts to decrease rapidly in women. The test takes about 10 minutes. これが今日の結果です。はい、差し上げます。ここに骨の写真が2つありますね。左が腰椎、右が左の股関節、大腿骨のヒップジョイントに近いところですね。そこの骨密度わかります。Hosoe compares bone density in her lower spine and upper thigh bone with the averages of those areas for younger people. 20歳の人と同じぐらい。So it's quite good. Very good. Very good. Oh, good. <laughs> the benchmark values for bone density are the averages for 20 to 44 year olds in the lower spine and for 20 to 29 year olds in the upper thigh bone. Readings that are 70% of these benchmarks or less are diagnosed as osteoporosis. The osteocytes are affected by the female hormone, estrogen. Estrogen controls the osteocytes and gets them to suppress the excessive destruction of pillars by osteoclasts and to promote bone formation by osteoblasts. However, estrogen levels in women begin to fall a few years before menopause. When this happens, the osteoblasts can no longer keep up with the osteoclasts, resulting in a gradual decrease in bone density. In men, male hormones which are involved in the maintenance and building of muscle are converted to estrogen. Yoshiko Ishimi is a pharmacist specializing in nutritional science. She has been studying food components called isoflavones contained in soybeans and their effects on osteoporosis risk reduction. And how actually are the soy isoflavones, how do they prevent osteoporosis? あの、大豆に入っている
When soy isoflavones reach the intestines, gut bacteria may transform them into a substance called equal. Equal is very similar in molecular structure to estrogen, the female hormone. It is considered highly effective in preventing osteoporosis. Does everyone have this gut bacteria to convert, to transform these soy isoflavones to equal? So what happens if you cannot make equal? 実際にあのエコールができない人でも。大豆イソフラボンの効果自体もありますので、あのエコールができる方がやや強い作用があるという程度ですので、あの特にあのそれをあの心配する必要はないと考えています。So what sort of foods contain soy isoflavones? 一番多いのがきな粉ですね。大豆をそのまま潰したものですからきな粉ですけれども、あとお豆腐ですとか豆乳ですとか。there's a fruit that boosts the effect of soy isoflavones when eaten together. Ishimi conducted a joint study with a university in New Zealand. They looked at how consuming soy isoflavones and kiwi together affected the bones of women in the country who were within five years after reaching menopause. The results showed the marker related to the risk of bone fractures was much lower in people who ate both than in those who consumed soy isoflavones only. So, Professor, can diet alone prevent osteoporosis? あの、やはり食生活は基本が基本なんですけれども、骨っていうのは過重をかけるとそれだけ強くなりますので、あの、食生活とそれから運動っていうのが非常に重要なファクターになってきます。Japanese researchers have found that vitamin C has a major impact on the bones. This X-ray image is from an experiment by a Japanese research team. It shows a mouse that is deficient in vitamin C. Its spine is brittle and curved significantly. Compared with a healthy mouse of the same age, the difference is obvious. The vitamin C deficient mouse also has a broken thigh bone. Its bones grew so brittle that it couldn't withstand the pressure from walking. The mouse experiment was conducted by Ishigami Akihito, a leading vitamin C researcher. Why does a vitamin C deficiency, why does it lead to brittle bones? Or, you know, basically, I guess, the early stages of osteoporosis? Vitamin C is <laughs> 普通の骨だとま、20%ぐらいあのコラーゲンできてるんですけど、軟骨だと50%ぐらいコラーゲンでできておりますので、あのビタミン Now, Hosoi, the osteoporosis expert, will explain what kinds of exercise can make the bones stronger. 3つのポイントがあります。1つは衝撃を加えること。もう1つは荷重をかける。それと筋力のアップです。Applying impact and weight to the bones and exercising the muscles near them stimulates osteocytes, the cells that play a key role in bone metabolism. The bones become stronger as a result. The first exercise, called the heel drop, will jolt your bones. It is strictly preventive, as it can cause fractures in people who already have osteoporosis. The 
上げてストーンと力を抜いて落とすこの運動は主に足の骨に対する運動と考えてただ衝撃は背骨にも伝わりますので下半身を中心にして背骨に対しても刺激すると考えます Do three sets of ten repetitions a day. Next is a weight bearing exercise. Place your hand on the back of a chair, lift your knee, and stand still for one minute. If you prefer, you can use both hands for better support. これは非常に止まった状態の運動なのでコスト症状に罹患したかかった方あるいは骨折したことのある方でも大丈夫です。Next is squats to strengthen the lower body muscles and apply weight to the bones. When you bend your legs, make sure your knees don't stick out beyond your toes. If your knees hurt or if you have difficulty maintaining balance, You will still benefit from repeatedly sitting and standing from a chair. 椅子に腰掛けるようにしてお尻を落としていく。で、下ろし方は無理のないところまで深くする必要はありません。筋肉を使うことは転倒予防にもつながることと、筋肉が収縮するっていうことが骨にたわみをもたらす。それが骨に対する刺激になるんですね。So why then? Is it important first not to put the knees too far forward? 膝が前に行ってしまうと使う筋肉が少なくなりますまあ、重心をまっすぐ下げることによってこの太ももの後ろの筋肉も使います123でいってまた123で非常にのんびりとした運動ですけどもこれはゆっくりした方が効果があります Aim to do three sets of ten repetitions a day.